We are loading up to go to Texas. So today's the day. It's I don't even know what day it is, man. It's been crazy trying to get everything ready, but oh, it's happening. Excited! Peach wants to come too, but she can't. Sorry, Peach. You have to stay here. I was just telling Amy, I'm like, man, I feel like I wish I could be more like prepared and ready to have my stuff in order, but I'm like, it's hard when you do it on your own, but I'm like, a lot of other times when I'm done on my own, I'm doing graphics like Friday before the race, so graphics are done, thanks to Paul at Armor Graphics, so dude, we're set. How do you feel going into Houston 1? One. Yeah, how do you feel about H1? H1. Are we going to do good or bad? Bad. What is too bad? Is Daddy going to go fast? Fast. Well, I have some parts coming today. They're not here yet, so we're leaving today, Chad. Whether we want to or not. So she's going to have to take some parts with her in the airplane. It'll be okay. Go start! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Goggles, a bunch of plastics, parts, bro. I think we're good. I don't know, man. I got, got my wallet. You got Worst the bikes? Case. Bikes are in. I know that for a fact. Let's see. We got on the dock, as of right now, to our Airbnb. Sorry, it's rerouting. 15 hours and 49 minutes. Be safe, man. All Good right. luck to you. Thank you. Have fun. I'll be cheering you on. Cool deal. See ya. stadium we're gonna go get COVID tests hopefully be negative so we can get our wristband to then get our credential to then go into the pits get the bike out go set up under the Pirelli semi how y'all doing gentlemen good how are you all right what you doing what you we're doing? a racer need to get our COVID tests right spot all the way around perfect thank right. you have a good day Just water on your nostrils. okay <laughs> Oh, it tickles. <laughs> oh, much better than the one with Dennis Hall, like where they went down to your throat and like yeah. poked your brain out. I remember that one. That was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't like the waiting, you know. This is... What do we, got? we got one stripe so far. Yeah, We're not pregnant. That's good. <laughs> hey, how much does this fine test cost you? Well, 75 bucks a person, and we're four people. Who's that, Frederick? That's me. Uh -oh, uh, that was the good. Whole, the whole team's looking at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. <laughs> we do not have COVID. Yay! Woo, 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 woo. We can get our credentials. Yay! Woo, 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 woo. We still need to wear the mask all day. Yay! Woo, woo. And we need to be six feet apart from each other. <laughs> Ten feet apart from everyone else. Woo, woo, woo. No. Well, at least we're going to go race, right? Uh, Chris is pretty much my American dad. He, well, he is my American dad. It's just not through blood. Because uh, he does everything a dad does. 
and he's here renting now, so now he's officially a dad. <laughs> Some random dude that we found on the streets. <laughs> Here's some bad with my gear. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got Brad here with FXR. It's gonna drop off some fresh gear for the weekend, so. Boom, round Boom. one, man. Look at that, there it let's is. go. What do you guys think? Okay, so the scoop here, it's called a hats off system. So what this is, is this is mandatory. You have to have this thing on. So you put it down in the helmet, right in there, run the line on the left side, and it'll come out down here, just like that. And if you crash and you need to get your helmet off to protect your neck, it will push, it'll put air in here and it'll push the helmet off from the top of your head rather than jerking around your neck. Morning on race day, and on the way to, uh, actually we're on the way to pick Chris up. And then go to track, get going, maybe a little bit like that, wiggle my arms, and then go out and ride. It's gonna be a good time. I mean, it's definitely way different this year with the schedule um, due to COVID, but I think it's gonna be good. I actually kind of liked it in Salt Lake earlier this year when we did a similar thing, racing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. Uh, it's nice that we're not at the same place for three or four weeks, so that's good. So it'll be about 10 days here, I think, now, before we go to Indy. So I think it's it's awesome. As far as being a privateer, this is maybe the easier way to do it. Do we need more power? Uh, no. Marvin over there talking French. Zibu <laughs> poton. I'm going to learn it. No, I'm not going to say that. I love that language. Yeah, so we just got done with uh, qualifiers, uh, first and second one, and uh, uh, I'm 25th overall, um, further down than I wanted to be, but it's a good first day of racing back, um, and we got races coming up, so I'm looking forward to the races. And, uh, the third practice, he got a, a good lap early on, and then he rode, he, I think he had about four laps in the 47, so I was, I was pretty pumped about that. So. If he gets a good start in the in the heat race, he can qualify out of that, and and with that that time frame, you know he'll uh, he'll score some points and make some money tonight. So let's go. 
Time to get Lord, it. Thank you for your love for us, Lord. Thank you so much for Freddie, Lord. Thank you for blessing my life with his. And uh, I pray that you'd have your hand upon him. Uh, we just thank you for the fun of being able to be a part of Supercross and racing dirt bikes. And uh, just pray that you would uh, keep us all safe, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay, brother. Love you. Dude, that didn't go as good as I'd hoped for. It took a couple of years off my life right there. Jeez, that dude. one I don't want to talk about anymore. That one scared the crap out of me. Like when I cased it, I landed so hard, my whole helmet goes full down to my face, and I jumped the dump lot seeing jack crap. And I'm like, whoa, that's the podium. Let's go. Oh my goodness, that was, man, what a first race. That was. I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm upset, but I don't know, I'm not like as hard, harshly upset at myself as maybe I would last year. You've grown in that area. I used to it's hate gone. coming back to the truck, man. Yeah. Wondering how, how you're going to be. It's definitely, definitely growth, man. <laughs>